Okay, part C. I'll do part C and part D in this same video because well, part C in particular is pretty short. So uh, this is the graph, the graph of the population sizes according to this model for the first four years for the first four years after the foxes were introduced is shown below. So this is this is what I like this question because it really gives you a good understanding of how these couple differential equations work. T starts and look, X is the X is rabbits and Y is foxes. So at the start, the foxes actually start to decrease a, a little bit or decline, but not too much. And the rabbits are continuing because the rabbits are breeding like rabbits and they are increasing 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 a lot now once it gets to a certain point here there be there the foxes the the number of foxes is increasing and then the foxes get to a point here because we're going up the y-axis as well where there's a lot of foxes and then they start to eat the rabbits and then the rabbits are like oh, uh oh and the rabbits start dying and the foxes are increasing and then we get to a point here and it's like oh, oh there's too many foxes and not enough rabbits so the foxes start dying and we kind of start all over again. But note, this doesn't, this isn't a loop. This doesn't come to here and then we start with a loop all over again. What happens is it'll just keep going and it'll reach an equilibrium point where the number of rabbits and uh, foxes, it kind of stabilizes and that's what we're gonna find in part D. But first for, uh, for part C, we need to describe the changes in the populations at A and at B. Now note, at A, is x, are we increasing or decreasing in the x direction? Well, we're increasing because we're going that way. And are we increasing or decreasing in the y direction? Well, we're increasing because we're going that way. We are going, if you look at the tangent to the curve, we're going that way. The x is increasing and the y is increasing. So we can say both the changes to the population. So both populations are increasing. If you want to be really technical, you say the population of rabbits are increasing and the population of foxes are increasing. That's that's point A. And then at point B, which is here, well, what's happening? If you want to look at the tangent again, the tangent would be something like that. Well, look, that's an increase in the y direction, but it's a decrease in the x direction because the x is now going that way, but the y is going that way. So ra we can say rabbits let's say population, population of rabbits is decreasing, population of foxes is increasing. Okay, done. Part D. Find the non-zero equi equilibrium point for the population of rabbits and foxes. Okay. Um, hang on. So here, here I have dx dt and dy dt. This is the rate of change or the rate of growth of rabbits, population of rabbits and foxes. Now, what's, how do I find an equilibrium point? Well, the equilibrium point is when the rate of growth of the, of the populations for both of them is equal to zero. So I need to find a point, I need to find where these are equal to zero. So I need to do our dx dt equals zero and dy dt equals zero. So dx dt equals zero Let's do that one first. X into two minus 0 0.01 Y equals zero. So this is either at X equals zero or at two minus 0 0.01 Y equals zero. And that, that is gonna be, um, well, 0 0.01 Y equals two and Y equals, two times 0 0.01, which is 200. Okay, it could be, but we can't use this one because it said non-zero. Find the non-zero equilibrium point. So y is equal to 200. And then for this one, I need to say 
y times 0 0.0002x minus 0 0.8 equals 0. Same thing, uh, y equals 0, or 0 0.0002x minus 0 0.8 equals 0. 0 0.0002x equals 0 0.8, and then x equals 0 0.8. I'm going to have to use my calculator for that. This is 0 0.8 times, um, sorry, divided by 0 0.08, divided by 0 0.0002, no, something's wrong there. 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.0002, I think I did minus, gives me 4,000. 4,000. So the non-zero equilibrium point, therefore, um, the non-zero equilibrium point is x equals 4,000 and y equals 200. Zero, 0, would also be an, equ an equilibrium point, obviously, if you think about it, because if there was no rabbits and no foxes, nothing would happen. It would, the populations would remain stable. But if we get to 200, sorry, if we get to 4,000 um, 4, rabbits and 200 foxes, what's going to happen is, um, and we might or might not get to it with this model, but if we get to that point, then the populations will just stabilize and they won't grow. Neither will grow and neither will decline. Okay, that's it guys. That is part C and D. In fact, that's, I think, the whole paper finished.